Hello there everybody, Sabata92 aka Nightmare, and welcome back to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones, Hardeth Mode. In the last episode, we finally got ourselves a bit started, and it looks like this time I'll be able to actually do two chapters, which is pretty good. Last episode, which was basically the first episode, we got a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a history lesson with how the land of Magvel as well as learning that the Grotto Empire suddenly attacked their friends, the Rene, the Kingdom of Rene, for some goddamn reason. Why? Princess Tanya, Gar Gar Grotto forces are approaching. What? So soon? Aw, oh, we've had no time. Milady, we lack the arms to defend this place. You must return to Castle Fralia. I can't, not yet. We haven't found Erica and her companions yet. Erica is my friend and she needs my help. I won't abandon her. Oh, I know. Go and ask Father. I mean, um, King Hayden for more troops. Uh, yes, Your Highness. Erica, please be safe. Oh. Green units. Commander Brigat, the enemy appears to be fortifying its position in the castle. Hmm. They're tenacious, but they have no hope of stopping our advance. What are your orders, sir? Ha! Orders? You just stand here and watch. I'll crush them myself. As you command, sir. Oh. Oh! Fucking 2% crit, seriously? Ha! That's what happens when you face my lance. Well, you're not very nice. Stop right there! Call up your forces and turn back, or you'll have me to deal with. Is that so? And who might you be? Well, I'm Tanya, Princess of Fralia. I will not permit you to abuse my country any longer. Fralia's royal brat, huh? How convenient. Leave this castle immediately! If you harm me, my father and brother will hunt you to the ends of Earth's end. Pfft. Whoops. Ah, uh, yes. I've heard how King Hayden dotes on his precious little daughter. Let's see how true that is. You'll make us a fine hostage, my dear. Seize the girl and lock her up. Right away, sir. Hey, let me go, you little bitch! Oh god, she's got a mouth on her. Seth, look. I see it. It seems like Grotto's army has already reached Fralia. Princess, this place is perilous. We should bypass Mulan altogether and head straight to the castle. But we, we can't just ignore this. You were there when Rene was invaded. You saw what I saw. You saw how the people suffered at the hands of Grado's soldiers. Homes were destroyed, possessions stolen, women kidnapped. Anyone who resisted was executed without question, without hesitation. Please, Seth, I, I cannot allow that to happen here. I don't want to see any more people harmed by Grado's atrocities. All right, Princess. I understand. Perhaps we can retake Mulan. But, Princess, you must act with caution. Your people need you, too. Of course, Seth. Come on, let's go! All right. All right. Okay, good. Seth is back up to full strength. Um, okay, I was told to do this. Yeah, there we go. That's how I do it. There we go. So, by hitting select on this, I can actually see what their growth rates are. Okay, okay. Okay, Seth has moderate, well, he, an 80% increase on HP. That's fair. And you've got relatively slightly below average, I would think. But your skill, speed, and HP are pretty good. You have a 50-50 on luck. And he's only got a 25% chance of luck. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Also, um, Ardith, you were kind of telling me that the affinity stats actually affect, like, support conversations, I think. And the, yeah. Determines compatibility with other units, but apparently characters will also get stat bonuses based on that. Okay. So support conversation bonuses are still a thing. Okay, good. Actually, kind of makes me wonder if Erica and Seth can actually have a little support conversation. I think it's worth trying out. All right, first things for, oh my God. 
All right, first off, let's see what I'm up against. Once again, we've got another fiery blood enemy, but now we've got these basic soldiers, which have, they do have some skills. What do we got here? Pursuit, when under attack, the attack speed at plus two. Okay, okay, I can, I can work around that. That, on the other hand, is a bit of a problem. All right, let's see what you got. Breguette, I'm gonna call you Baguette. Commander of a grotto military force. And he's a knight, the heavily armored units with very high, did I read that right? Equip lances and bows. Ooh, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen a heavy, I've never seen a real knight actually use a bow. All right, what do you have? Wary fighter, unit cannot double or be double. Oh, so no double attacks. Okay, what else do you got? Natural cover, negative three damage taken when on a terrain with effects. And he's on a gate. Oh, you're going to be a pain in the butt. I may have to rely solely on Seth here. Okay, uh, enemy equipment. I'm guessing, from right now, I'm guessing they all have the very similar abilities. However, wait, how many horse slayers are there? Okay, we got two enemies with a horse slayer. Okay, so I need to be careful about that. Okay, this guy can, yeah, he can, re he can move relatively fast. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just, hmm. Wait, can I visit this house? Does it have bonuses? Okay, it has plus 10 avoidance. I I'm just gonna visit the house real quick. I think I should be safe. If I can move Erica over to this, I should be relatively safe, at least for the time being. This guy, on the other hand, okay, yeah, he's pretty good. Okay, he's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna move you over to the house, and... Okay, let's visit him. Now the rumors are true, aren't they? The Grotto's army's taken over the castle. Well, it's, it's doomed. We may as well just give up. Are you French? Possibly. Was that racist? Kind of. It looks like they've seen the castle gate, too. Smart work. The gate provides defense and heals wounds to boot. They must be fierce warriors to have taken the gate. Watch yourself. Okay, thank you. That was a little bit fourth wall breaking, but whatever. Oh, hey. Hey, that's pretty cool. The exclamation point. And those happen to be the units with the horse slayers. Okay, that's actually pretty useful, I think. This could actually help me keep Seth safe a lot more. Because I'm going to go through this game and I don't want to lose a damn unit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put Seth right here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> is that the princess of Rene? Ha! It really is my lucky day. Fame and fortune ride to meet me. Move on, you slugs! Bring that girl to me! Alright, you should be fine. You can't even fucking hit me! Princess, when did you learn such language? Well, I don't know. Oh! Oh, hell yeah! We get our own knight! And hey, it's, um... Uh, oh, God, I forgot what your name is. Franz? I think that was your name. Sir Gilliam! Is that Mulan? Have we reached Freelia's border yet already? Aye, we have. Her Highness Princess Tanya should be inside the castle. But look! The countryside is crawling with grotto soldiers! Where's the castle guard? Has Mulan fallen? Are we too late? Too tough to say from here. Oh crap, I have no idea what to do with this guy. Oh boy, um... Oh dear, I have no idea. Princess Tan is in no danger if they watch her as a bargaining tool. We men of the Eastern Watch will see her to safety. Yes, yes of course! We mustn't give up. We must move. We must retake the castle. Then we ride forth to Princess Erica's aid. I see a horse slayer over there. A stronger armor than you do. I'll draw their attacks. Watch my back. All right. What do we got here? Gilliam. An armored knight of Fralia. He's quiet, yet dependable. Hmm. Well, now I've got my own armored knight. Neat. All right. What do you got? Well, makes sense that you would have high defense stats. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What do you have? Provoke. Enemies are more likely to target this unit. Ooh. And natural cover. Okay. Uh, 
Oh god, Franz is in a tough spot. Oh boy. Okay, I need to... Mmm, dare I? Okay. I think Seth can go ahead and do Mercy. This would ensure that Erica gets a free kill. Aha! You missed, villain! Alright. This ensures that Erica will get experience. Yeah! We gotta level up our lord. Or, lordess. Close enough. Okay, HP speed and res up too. Okay. Okay. Well, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like provoke is a normal thing. Okay. First things first. I want to see how much damage it'll do. Will it auto kill? It will fucking auto kill. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Oh, please just attack him. <gasps> oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, fuck. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Wait. I can work with this. He has high move. Wait. Does he not have a Volnery? Oh, he's got two Volneries. Whoops. Okay. We'll move you over here for right now. Just so you don't die. Hmm? Hold on. Oh, friends can talk to these guys. Okay, I, I didn't even I didn't even check him yet. An earnest and compassionate cavalier from Renee. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna move you over here just to be safe. Oh, he didn't even Oh! Boy got a hand axe! Oh boy. Alright, uh another house over there. It would offer a defense buff. That knight encamped at the castle is wearing the finest armor I've seen. It looked like it turned in aside almost any blade to swing at it. I know my armor though. I wager a good rapier or armor slayer could get through it. Ah, so she's got the she's basically got the Achilles heel to take that guy down. Alright. Okay, in that regard, what I should do next. Oh god. Wait. Yeah, he should be relatively safe, I think. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Oh, fuck me. Okay, um. I just have to hope for the best. 11 damage. Twice. Ugh, six. That's not. That's not gonna be good enough because he'll be able to kill me. Wait, can you. Can Gilliam rescue him? Yes, he can. Okay. Franz, this is for your own safety. This is for your own safety, my dude. You suck. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> My defense is super superior. You go, Gilliam. Oh wow, they are just all ganging up on him. But they can do nothing. <laughs> yes. That's pure power. And he restores health as well. Alright. I guess what I should do... He can take this guy out with a single hit. But the real problem is, will he be able to actually take care of it, though? You know what? I'm going to risk it. Risk it for a biscuit! Hell yeah! Whew! Alright, uh... Oh boy. Okay, I can actually see how much damage that this guy will do to me if I attack him. Yikes. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Huh! 
Oh, <laughs> critical him. That'll do it too. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, okay, that's not a safe area. So this is a safe area. Fool! Woo! All right. I'll go ahead and bring you down here. Drop. And let's go ahead and give our princess some EXP. <laughs> All right. Time for some talking. Is that you, Franz? I'm relieved to see you're still in one piece. Y yes and you as well, General. As long as you lead us, sir, the Knights of Renee cannot lose. Franz, you and I must work together to protect Princess Erika. I want you to ride with us. Sir! With honor, sir! Alright. We are doing good. Was that supposed to hurt me? Hmm. Can I talk with any more? I found them! Stragglers from Renee! Don't let them get away! Ah, crap! We got reinforcements! What do they have? Okay, but we're on the same. Is that another horse slayer, though? Oh, thank God. Oh, crap, though. We got an archer. Warriors use bows to attack from afar. Right, and he's got a short bow. Does that still have the... Yeah, it has a slight critical hit rate boost. Well, thankfully, I think... I think I should be able to... I think I should be able to handle him. I... I hope at least. Okay, um... Okay, I should be relatively safe if I put you over here for right now. I think. Let's just... I'm gonna put you over here. Just for right now. Ooh, you can talk to Erica. Uh Okay, I'm gonna have to go ahead and mercy you. Okay, well, yeah, let's go with the steel lance because that way he'll have a lower chance of being able to hit me. Which paid off in my favor. Good. With this, I can ensure that Franz will get a little bit of experience. Although, what I should check just to be safe. Okay, only 10. Okay. Okay. I'm just double checking. I don't. I don't want to make a mistake, especially since we're on hard mode. Okay. okay. The lance has a higher chance of hitting. There we go. Get him some experience. All right, now I think it is safe to go ahead and talk. Princess Erica, it is good to see you're well. Franz, you made it through unscathed. Y yes, your highness. I met up with Sir Gilliam of Fralia and explained the situation in, in Rene. He told me that Princess Tana was in, da was in danger as well, here at Mulan. We rode as swiftly as we could. Tanya is here. Franz, we must hurry. Understood. All right. Okay, I think we're relatively safe. We were a bit boxed in, but I think I should be... I should be fine. Hm. You got a sucker, George. Oh, God, I missed. Well, at least I tried. That archer is trying to bait me. Okay, okay. Um... Seth, you're basically my go-to guy. By using the power of mercy! I gotta say, mercy makes it so much simpler for us to actually get some character's experience. Okay, uh... That is some... Okay. This would be a better place for me to go ahead and attack. There we go. Give Fran some experience. Okay, good. 
Now move Erica into this just for her own safety. And keep you right here. Okay, good. Thanks to Provoke, it's making it to where they attack Gilliam first, which actually makes it a lot easier for me. In, you know, relatively speaking. Aha! Okay, this is good. As long as there's no more reinforcements for the moment, I think we should be good. Okay. I think Erica can go ahead and exploit... No, wait. First things first. I should probably go ahead and get rid of the soldier. Uh, wait. Who can kill him? Okay. I think if I go ahead and attack with Gilliam first... This gives Franz the chance to actually kill him. I think if he uses the lance, he has a higher chance of being able to hit him, I think. Yes, he does. So this should, in theory, kill him. Good. All right. Oh my god, one experience points. Are you shitting me? Oh, you are, you're a dick. All right, uh, I don't trust you. So once again, I'm going to rely on the power of mercy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the lance this time. I don't wanna use too much of the sword in the... Oh, interesting. The short, oh. Hold the phone. One to two, oh, cool. All right, so the short bow can literally do close combat. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah! Good job, Erica. Oh, and her weapon ring increased. Goody, she can use other weapons now. All right, now, what I need to do next is I need to go ahead and try to bait the horse slayer's attack out. Which means I'm gonna have to move him into the spot over here. You right there, and you right there. All right. Okay. Actually, out of curiosity, how strong is Seth against this guy? Ten? Seven. Ooh, that's gonna... That's gonna be an endurance fight. Alright. You will bait out the attack. Yeah. Keep Seth out of harm's way. Ow. Kinda wish I could steal that. Oh, are you kidding me? You're just teasing me with all of these ex All of these, you're just teasing me. Wait, wait, hold on. No. That is definitely not worth the risk. This, on the other hand, will give him experience to level up. Which is okay in my book. And he got a speed increase? I mean, that's actually not a big, that's actually not bad, really. Okay, go. Yay, level up! Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah, that was actually pretty good. I mean, her, her defense and resistance is still pitifully low, but it is better than nothing. All right, I think I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and trade one of the vulneries to Gilliam. Looks like he really just needs it. All right, that guy is all that's left. I'm gonna go ahead and see how much damage that Gilliam can do, which is fucking nothing. How much damage can you do, Erica? Wow, even with the attack buff, that is not good. Okay, what were his abilities again? I can't double. Negative three damage taken when on terrain with effects. Okay, he's going to make this really difficult. I think Seth is gonna end up having to be the one that's gonna take care of pretty much all of the work here. His defense is just that ridiculously high. All right, so what I should do... Yeah, the Lance would probably be better. All right, uh... Yeah, I, 
can afford this. I can do this. Ah! What a worthless lot of curs I've been assigned! That's what you get, you Flebian. And you missed. Actually, who knows? Maybe this will give Seth enough to level up himself. I'm not gonna waste the vulnerabilities just yet. Only two HP. Okay, that's better. Seriously? Oh, god damn it. First I can dodge the sluggard, but then he just dodges me. <laughs> Alright, I need to go ahead and put the allies in place. Because, wait, hold on. Steel Lance can't reach. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna go ahead and put the allies in place. Yeah. Seth, you are good to go, my man. Oh god, why didn't I just attack him? It should have been- I should have attacked him. Dominant idiot! Ow! Well, at least I tried there. I think the good news is that he doesn't have the uh, critical hit chance, because if he did, I swear, the 1% chance is like the worst thing to, you know, get hit by. Yeah, good job! Missed me! Actually, who knows, this might actually get Seth the level up. Hey, a stronger Seth is good for me. Ow! That's what you get! Okay, now, here's the question. Do I have Erika attack him? No, I... You know what? Realistically, Seth... Actually, you know what? I don't want to attack him, because if I attack him, miss, and then he hits me, and then he hits me on his next turn, I am fucked. I'm trying to think outside the box here, and I'm trying to think safely. See? Oh, wait a minute! I didn't equip the sword, did I? Oh crap, I might have accidentally equipped the sword by mistake. Oh, that was an accident. Alright, uh, first off, re-equip that, and go ahead and use the Vulnery. Just to be safe. No, wait. Just, let's just be safe here. Ah, damn. I done goofed. Hopefully this will finish it. Oh, that's definitely gonna finish it! <laughs> That'll do it! This... This can't be! I... You're dead, you scallywag, and I leveled up. Did you just say scallywag? I'm a bit joyous sometimes. There we go. Uh... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, there was a seize thing, wasn't there? Yeah, that's right, there was. Um... I have no idea what kind of voice to give you. Princess Tom. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I might just go ahead and go with, like, maybe my, uh... Actually, maybe my Hideyoshi voice would be pretty good for this guy. Sir Gilliam! I'm sorry, I never meant to cause you such trouble. There was no trouble. I live to serve, Princess. Tanya! Erica! Is that really you? Tanya, what are you doing so far from Castle Freelia? Well, I heard that Renee had fallen, and I was so worried. But I'm glad to see that you're safe. Wait, where's Ephraim? He's where's Ephraim? Is he well? I wish I knew. You haven't heard from him? Oh, I hope he's not been harmed. Come, we must go to Castle Freilia. My Lord Father may know something. Your Lord Father? That's eh, a weird nickname I got. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Oh! Holy crap, do we have a map here? Erica and her companions have liberated the border castle. Alongside Princess Tanya of Freilia, they ride to the Freilian capital. Oh, hey, we get to meet this dude! Ah, that's right. You're Hayden. Right, you're Hayden. Right, right. Ugh, Tanya. 
I'm grateful to see that you're safe and home again. You've no idea how uh, I worried when I heard you were under attack at Border Mulan. You're not to leave again without my permission. Do you understand? Don't be mad, Father. Look, I come bearing good news! Erica, come out now! King Hayden, I'm pleased to see you again, even in these sad times. Ah, Erica. It does my heart to see good to see you safe. Thank you. I was able to escape the castle before Rene fell. But I'm not sure of my father. Yes. I received word of your father. Your Highness, please tell me, is my father well? My friend King Fado did not survive the fall of Rene Castle. Oh. Oh. No. It cannot be. Hmm. Rest assured, Grotto will be punished for its cowardly act. This is Freya's promise. I gotta admit, for a Game Boy Advance game, the music sounds really good. And again, that's kind of how it was with, like, uh, Metroid Fusion. It had some pretty good music, too. Erica, please stay here and rest. I cannot imagine how exhausted you must be. Hmm. King Hayden. You know Prince Ephraim's disappearance, do you not? Yes. We hear the prince and his men hound Grotto at every turn. It's said that he's led his forces into the Empire itself. Holy shit, Erica, your brother's a badass. Reports suggest he's crossed the border and now fights in Renval. Renval? My brother. He fights on? Even now? Yes. My Pegasus Knights bought this information at a great price. Even though Rene has fallen, he charges into the enemy's heart. He is truly Thado's son, but a valiant youth. I wish that I knew whether he remains unharmed, but I do not. King Hayden, I thank you for your offer, but I cannot stay. I intend to ride to my brother's side with reinforcements. I cannot allow it. I know now how you feel, but this plan is suicide. I would be betraying Fado's memory if I allowed any harm to befall you. Stay here, rest and mourn. Leave this war to the warriors. I've already killed people! I know you mean well, your, Hi your majesty. However, I have lost my father and my twin brother is in peril. My brother, he's a part of me. I cannot rest here in peace while he risks his life. No, Renee's, Renee has no more army. Rado's forces decimated it. I wish that Fralia could provide you with support, with soldiers. But my son, Ines, is on his way to meet the Empire's forces. Is that how you pronounce it? Ines or Inns? I don't know, Inns just kind of sounds weird. And that sounds like it's got a little bit of a flair to it. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna meet this guy. Well, then again, we're still pretty early. Who knows? Maybe this name drop is just kind of foreshadowing or something. Anyway, I think it, I think it's pronounced Ines. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it unless, you know, one of you guys correct me on this. We cannot spare a single brigade. Your own retinue of knights cannot possibly face Grado alone. Are you so determined to go? Yes. With apologies. As resolute as your father, eh? What am I to do in the face of such foolhardy determination? Vanessa! Oh! Hi! Green haired girl? Um. Hmm. What to do with you? Uh. Here, your highness. Mulder. Who you called, my king? Gilliam. Yes, sire. You are to accompany Princess Erika of Rene into Grado territory. I expect each of you to provide aid and support for her brother. Hmm. You know, quite a quite a grave responsibility you've given us. 
No matter the obstacles, we'll perform our duty. Our lives are yours! These are some of my most trusted and stalwart vessels. They will no doubt prove themselves quite valuable on your journey. Remember, you are venturing behind enemy lines. You will need supplies. I will have a supply convoy ready to carry your weapons and provisions. It will remain at your side no matter how, afield, how far afield you venture. King Hayden, I... Thank you. No. Save your thanks for your return with your brother, Prince Ephraim. Yes, your highness. Oh, 5,000 gold? Thanks, dude! Erica, you don't really intend to go through with this, do you? I can't guess how you must feel, but it's just too dangerous. Tanya, I've already killed people. Oh! Okay. What would happen if you were captured by Grado's men? Thank you for your concern, Tanya. But I have no choice. Don't you see, Tanya? I have to go. Erica. Well, why is this happening? What's gone wrong with the world? Tanya. Why would Grotto invade? That's what I want to know. Emperor Vergarde is a man of peace. His people adore him. Well, that automatically just makes it even more concerning. And you and Ephraim are friends with Prince Leon, are you not? What could be behind this madness? Why is this happening? I have no answers for you, Tanya. I don't want to believe it, but the reality is that we are at war. Prince Leon. I'm guessing that's... Regarde's son, I guess? If I do nothing, I may lose my brother as well as my father. This is why I have to fight. It's the only answer I have. Alright. Chapter 2. The Protected. Oh! Oh, cool! I can actually mess with this now? Cool! What happens if I go back here? Nothing. <laughs> That's pretty neat. All right. This is pretty cool. All right, what do we got here? Vanessa with a slim lance and a javelin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vanessa, a sincere, honest, and honorable Pegasus Knight of Fralia. Pegasus Knight, airborne knights who resist magic but are weak against bows. Quick lances. Of course, they're always weak to bows. Ooh. A stat bonus? Where'd she get that from? Okay, let's see. What are her growths? Okay, high skill, speed, and luck, and uh, minuscule HP. So she's like, she's kind of looks like a bit, not really much of glass cannon because her strength's not that high, and neither is her. Oh my god, her defense growth is pitiful. All right, uh, let's go ahead and see what her skills are. She's got three. Savior can rescue without penalties. Ooh. Kanto can move again after certain actions. Cool. Relief. Recover 20% HP each turn if there are no allies than two tiles. Ooh, that's pretty good. Molder! What do we got here? A mature priest of Fralia. He's gentle and reassuring. And his luck is just non-existent. Okay, so he's the... Oh, wait, he's a, he's a priest. Spiritual guides who use sacred staves to heal allies. Equip staves. Or staves, sorry. The... Restore HP to allies in these spaces. Okay, basic healing. That's pretty good. It allows me to save up on vulnerabilities. Staff saving. Maximum range of staves is increased by one. Ooh, hot damn. So he can heal to the distance? Awesome. Miracle. Survive a lethal attack if HP is below... Is HP is over 50%. Ah. Okay, cool. Okay, that's pretty good. So he cannot be overkilled if his HP is above, like, maybe 12 or 13. At the moment, at least. Alright, cool. Alright, I got gold, but I can't use it with anything. Alright, let's go to wherever this is. King Hayden apologizes for being unable to spare soldiers. However, he does provide Erica with a small but trusted party of vassals. And their variant, which makes things pretty good. Erica is grateful for the king's aid. Hmm? Chasing rumors of her brother, she sets out for Grotto. Alright, 
We're coming for your brother! The group's first stop is the remote village of Eid, which was, until very recently, a part of Renee. Here, Erica sees the devastation of Renee with her own eyes. Oh, crap. Chapter 2 The Protected. Seth has mapped out a route for us. We'll travel south of Renee and pass through Seraphiu into Grotto territory. Hmm, that would seem a sensible plan. Assuming, of course, that we can avoid any run ins with Grotto's soldiers. Princess Erica, may I have your leave to scout ahead? From the sky, I'll have a better chance of spotting any nearby troops. We are yours to command, Your Highness. Will you give your permission? Yes, of course. Keep an eye out for enemy bowmen, though, Vanessa. Yes, Your Highness. I shall. I shall prove myself worthy of the honor of your trust. I think I already like her. She seems very eager. Well, eager, yes, quite. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy! <laughs> Hey boss, we found more villages right for the picking. One, two, three. <laughs> I love a good war. With all those soldiers preoccupied, we're free to pillage as we please. Right, Bone? You're in charge. Grab everything that's not nailed down and bring it to the hideout. I'm on it. Oh god, oh, oh hello. I'm guessing these are new, I'm guessing these are good guys, judging by from the, hmm, hello there. Um, Dad, Bennett's approaching. Easy boy. <laughs> okay, this is the, this is what I was told about. Okay, supposedly um, there's actually a character that I need to practice a certain Kratos voice for, so I think this already fits pretty well. All right. Easy boy. I'm getting you out of here, Ross. You stay close to me. I can't do a good Kratos. I'm trying. Let's start with that village there. Get here, boys. It's all yours. Can't find anyone feel enough to get in your way. I'm heading west around the mountains to the other villages. The village was destroyed. No! Ugh. Ross, what is it? What's wrong? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. You're a warrior, Dad. And I'm your son. I won't be beaten so easily. Don't risk yourself so foolishly, boy. We need to get you some help. Please, someone help my son! Okay, Kratos. Uh, this looks serious. I must report back to Princess Erica at once. Hey, I found a boy. I have bad news. The village to the east is under attack by bandits. Bandits? We have arrived at our first dilemma. We must move quickly and attract as little attention as possible, but... But I cannot stand by and watch innocents be harmed. Vanessa, how fair the villagers? I spotted one injured person. He appeared to be just a child. Father Mulder, can your staff help him? Well, yes, I can heal his injuries with my staff, but I cannot do it from here. He is too far away. I must be near him. Princess, please leave this to me. Oh, this is why I was warned about using the rescue mechanic. Okay, okay. I think I know what to do here. If that's what it's aiming at. I shall bring the boy here. All right, Vanessa. It's up to you. Very well. I'm off. I should warn the villagers. I'll start with the closest one. All right. Uh, first... Oh, oh, wow, he is damaged. Oh, dear God. Okay, what do we got here? Talk Garcia. Ross, a young villager. He longs to be strong like his father. Villager, young fighters with high expectations. Equip axes. You may talk on the battlefield. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. What do you got? Arms thrift. Luck percent chance to not consume weapon durability. Oh! 
Oh, this ability I remember. Hot damn, lucky you, Ross. Paragon, experience gain is doubled. <laughs> oh my god, Ross, you are going to, oh, you are a lucky boy. What are your, what are your growths? Oh, I can't check him because he's not an ally, right? I guess that's probably why. Garcia, AKA Kratos. A villager from Rene. He was once a feared military god. I, I mean, leader. Okay, he's a base, okay, he's a fighter. Looks like he has the burning, the fiery blood, but what's this one? Smite, allows unit to push other units two tiles away. Ooh hoo hoo, that's pretty good. All right, we got some new units. Brigands, brigands, whatever. Cutthroat, a member of Bosba's bandits who roam this region. Brigand, mighty mercenaries who thrive in mountains. All right, what do you got? Intimidate, negative 10 avoid to all enemies within two tiles. That could be a problem if that stacks up. That could be a real problem. Oh, is that a thief? Huh, it's a thief. Multi-talented knaves with an eye for riches. What do you got here? Cunning, can pick locks and see in darkness. Despoil, obtain a red gem after attacking and defeating an enemy. Luck percent chance activate -ish. He only has a 6% chance? Kinda sucks, my dude. Bone! What do we got here? One of Bosba's henchmen. Oh, he's got a he's got a different skill. Axe fair. Plus four damage when attacking an when equipping an axe. Oh crap. What kind of enemies do we have here with items? Okay, we've got a short bow and ooh! That one can drop a vulnery. Looks like there's a village over here, too. Alright, um, first things first. I should probably go ahead and talk to the villagers, and then... Oh! Okay, it looks like Erica can talk to Ross. Okay, okay. I see what I gotta do, I think. Don't mind me, I'm just going to steal your son. Hope you don't mind about that. Okay, I just have to hope that he does not die. Here. Get Seth into position. Get Franz into position. Move you over here. Okay. Oh, wait. What's that? Armory? Oh, cool. I can buy stuff. Alright, uh, Erica, go ahead and head to the village. Ooh, you got a different sprite. Oh, this is terrible. What are we going to do? Those bandits are so close. If we can't find some way to protect ourselves, the village is doomed! Perhaps. People, listen to me! You must close the village gates immediately! Hurry before the bandits arrive! Who are you? You aren't from one of the neighboring towns, are you? And your weapons give you away. You're no peasant. I am... Uh, uh, my name is... Arena. I'm a mercenary. A mercenary named Irina, is it? There's more to you than that, I feel. But don't worry. It's none of my affair. I haven't told you who I am yet, have I? I am Selena, a general in Grotto's army. You... Why are you here? <laughs> is something wrong? No, uh, uh nothing. It looks like these villagers have some bandit troubles. I would like to help, but I have orders. I'm to leave for the capital immediately, and I cannot stay. You're armed, and you claim to be a mercenary. Will you help them? Um... Is there a problem? No! Uh, of course I'll help them! It's just... You're one of Grotto's generals. Why? These aren't soldiers. They're people. Did they suffer because their leaders fight? I petitioned your aid. Take this as payment. Um... A red gem. Thanks? Okay, uh, uh, General? Oh boy. You kinda suck, boy! Let me show you how it's done. Good on you, my dude! 
You, on the other hand, I'm afraid I can't allow you to leave. All right, uh, wait, first things first. Can you hit him? Yes, you can, but you'll get hit twice. I just basically have to wing it. I have to... wait. Okay, I think I should be safe. I was kind of worried if he was actually going to, you know, be able to strike me. Don't miss, Seth! Good job, Seth! Alright, I just have to hope that, you know, this actually gets rid of this guy. Okay. Friends, I believe in you! Yes! Level up, boy! <laughs> Holy shit! Dude! <laughs> Good job on you! Oh my god, I didn't even check out what your abilities are. Discipline. Weapon experience gains are doubled. Kanto can move again after certain actions. Camaraderie. Oh, oh, cool, cool. Okay, that's great, great. I, I completely forgot to check out Franz's skills. I feel stupid now. All right, uh, are you in the safe? You are a safe. Also, you have 40 avoidance, so, okay, drop. Uh, I think. Oh god, okay, you know what? This should be fine. Okay, it is fine. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to you. Wanna join the party? Hey, listen! My village is being attacked by bandits! My name's Ross. Come on, you have to help me wipe those thugs out! All right, just, 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 just take a deep breath and calm down, Ross. Leave the villagers, villages to us. We'll drive off the bandits. Seth, take the boy somewhere safe. No, wait! I'm going to fight too! But... My father is out there all alone, fighting those bandits. I've got to get back to him as quickly as possible. I'm the son of the Great Garcia. As long as I have my axe, no bandit will ever defeat me. All right, I can see you're not going to be swayed, but you must promise you will stay close to us. Yes! Yay! Oh. Okay, we got 50% chance on strength and luck. Okay, that's actually pretty good. That'll, you know, the higher his luck, the greater that his, you know, chance that his weapons will not deteriorate. Okay. We gotta go heal the... Oh, wait. Well, that's cool. I'll heal you, boy. Good, the boy's healed. All right, uh, let's go ahead and have Ross visit this village for right now. Most wonderful man with long red hair rescued me. He was dressed like a mercenary, but he had an air of elegance about him. He gave me this elixir. I'm sure it will help you on the battlefield. Thanks. Is that, is that what it, does that do what I think it does? Restores all HP. Okay, I'm holding on to that shit right there. All right, uh, Garcia, I hope you'll be safe. I think you should be fine. You missed, boy. Oh, God, I missed. Oh, boy. Let me show you how it's done, boy. God damn it. You tried, Crate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Rescue you. Get you over here. Wait. Uh... Swords, yes. Oh! You missed, bitch! Eat it! Okay, swords are obviously more... Priority. That's 
Okay. Whew. Yeah, okay, this is working out pretty well. Vulnery! Oh my god, I am just outside the area of damage of attack. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Everybody is pretty good at the moment. So if you stay over here, you'll have greater defenses there. I should probably try to get somebody inside that fortress. I think Seth would probably be the best bet. At the moment, at least. Okay, drop. Uh, let's go ahead and put you back over here. Wait. Hey, you should be fine. I don't trust even myself. Oh my god, I would have fucking died if I put him there. Oh. Ooh boy! I am so glad I did not do that. Okay, uh... Go ahead and get you in the party, Kratos. Dad! Ross! Boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run away while you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross. All right, listen to me, boy. We'll cut our way out of here together. Yes! Yay, I've officially got the strongest character in the game on my party now. All right, boy. Uh... Okay, I can do this. I think he should be safe if I put him there. So long as he's got the steel sword equipped. Okay, uh... These guys are going to be the problem, though. Well, actually, specifically this one. He can attack at a range. It looks like they do have Intimidate, which makes it good. It's gonna be pretty hard not to get hit. Oh god, they are really making this difficult on me. Alright, uh... Okay, um... I did not mean to do that! Oh no! Oh no! I done goofed! Uh-oh. Oh boy. Okay, I think I'm safe here. I'm not safe here! I have to hope for the best. Ow. Oh. Eat a dick! Ow! Oh. oh my god, Gilliam, do not die on me! Ow. Okay, okay, this is bad. This is really bad. This is like the, this is the complete opposite of good. Don't you die, please, do not die! Uh. Okay, I'm taking a bit of a more defensive approach and I am relying a little bit on Seth again. Okay, that hand axe guy is going to be the big problem, I think. Cause he can attack twice with low speed units. And I realized I'm probably not gonna be able to make it to that village before they destroy it. 
Thankfully, Franz does have some passive healing, which makes things just a little bit easier for me, in a sense. Okay, I need to plan this out a little bit. You guys are gonna get to go first. Ah, damn it. The boss is gonna get in and destroy the village. Damn it! I mean, unless... Wait, what's... Is there a goal? Okay, I gotta defeat all the enemies. I was gonna say, if there was a goal where all I had to do was kill the boss, I think Seth could actually do that. Right? Oh, hell, fucking Seth can fuck it. He can destroy them. <laughs> Alright, uh... Ah, oh, damn it. He's got a... He's got a... He's got that shit going on. Okay, who's, who's more dangerous? He's got eight strength. He's got eight strength. They have about the same... They actually have the same strength and speed, so... I don't want to lose Gilliam. I really don't. Wait, what do you have again? Quick draw, plus four damage when initiating battle. Okay, that's gonna be a real pain in the ass. Okay, he can move. Okay, I can successfully get out of that attack range. So I can, I can actually make this work. All right, Seth. Oh, damn it. I believed in you, Seth! Okay, thank you. <sighs> Seth is my go-to guy. Okay, um, what can we do? 16, that's not good. Okay, Franz has a very good chance of being able to, has high survivability, which is great. Okay. With this, Gilliam can survive. He has a higher survivability rate, which is good. If I move him over here, I move you right here. Okay, good. Not only does Franz have a higher, you know, chance of dodging and a little bit, a little bit higher defense, this also prevents Molder from getting hit. And the only damp the only ones that will get hurt in the process are those that have, well, relatively good stats all around. So to be safe, I'm going to have him use his vulnerary just to keep him a little bit above HP. I want to see what this cutthroat can do. This guy's going to be a bit of a problem. I think I should be safe, even though I may have to sacrifice a village, which really does not do well on my record, and I'm going to feel bad that I actually let a village down. Ugh. I have no idea what that thing can do. Okay. I gotta believe! I'm sorry, village! I'm really sorry! I knew it, he was going to attack Gilliam. Thanks to Provoke. And with that 94% accuracy, god. Dang. Thankfully, he is out of range. Ow. Good job, Gilly. Good job, uh, Kratos. All right. This technically bought me a couple of turns here. Sort of. In a, in a sense. Sort of. All right. You. Need. To. Die! Huh! Ugh. All right. All that's left is this cutthroat. All right. He has got. He's. He's got. He's almost on the me. <laughs> I can do it, Dad. No, you can't. No, you can't, boy. Wait. Maybe he can. Oh wait. All right. You're going to die if I don't heal you. Oh well, that's more experience for Molder. Yeah, I'm going to do a no- I'm not going to let my allies stay dead. I am going to revive them. Alright, uh... That's actually not that bad. The only problem is trying to get her to hit. Actually, I got a question. How much is that? An uncommon gemstone worth 2,500 gold. Ooh, I can sell that. 
thank goodness there's a shop over here. Huh. This game actually gives you a lot of opportunities to do stuff. That's pretty great, actually. All right. Go, 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 Kratos! 45% chance hit, and it actually hit. That's some Kratos level luck right there. All right. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh. Wow, that is such a dramatic change. With the weapon triangle in effect, he gets 88% if he's in advantage. But if he's in the disadvantage, that goes down by a, a solid 30. That's crazy. Go, friends! Actually, I think I should go ahead and give some experience to Vanessa. That would actually not be a... I think that would be a good idea, I think. Alright. Alright. Let's go actually... Wait. First, I want to see. Can you do it? Yes! Good job, Ross! Holy shit! Damn, no wonder Paragon's so good. Alright. Uh, oh. I should probably go ahead and sell that gem now. Uh, welcome to the army. Armory. Uh, I deal all sorts of goods. Okay, I'll sell the red gem. Uh, what do you got to sell? Slim sword, iron sword, slim lance, iron lance, iron axe. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and buy... Actually, yeah. I don't want to rely too much on the rapier, so I'm gonna give her some options with weapons. Just for right now. 17% chance. <laughs> You're a fool! Die! Oh wait, that's right, I used mercy. Of course. Vanessa? I believe in you! Yes! I knew it was right to believe in you, Vanessa! Okay, this is good, this is great. This is absolutely fantastic. Wait a minute! Who are you? I'm your death, you heathen! Farewell. Scum! Ugh. Blast! Yes! Good job, Seth! You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. Aren't you... the Great Garcia? You fought for Rene, didn't you? Really? Mm. Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Rene until around ten years ago. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Rene. Oh! Master Garcia. You must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend your strength to Rene once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. I'm not a soldier anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia. When I was a soldier, I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I, have no t I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. Ah. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies. I'm done with fighting. Except to protect my son. Oh my god, you are literally- okay. I know this came out before the new God of War game, but I'm getting like serious Kratos vibes right- Kratos vibes right now. I've no regrets. I'm the boy's father. You- you blasted fool! Father, what's all this nonsense I'm hearing? Ross! If you're not going, then I will! You can't control your anger, boy! I'm a fighter! I know I can do this! Ross, what do you say? I... Dad, please listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up and be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? 
I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior, like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross. You wanna challenge me, father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of Eid. I'm not gonna lose to you. I'm not gonna lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, boy. Sir Seth, if the old bones of my, if these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad! Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I've raised him as best as I could, but he's right. I've nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Yay! We got Kratos! Oh, thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. Oh, by the way, you let some of our friends die. I'm aware. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Oh, thank you. My father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift, but you should be careful wearing such a simple, valuable item so openly. Since Renee's was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. Oh, the most wicked are Barzba's bandits. They are cruel beyond words. If you have something they want, your life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they raised the nearby town of Larkin. Oh, it, it was so awful. I, I can't believe such things. Oh, Renee is finished, mark my words. The Grotto Empire has stolen our future. Our only hope against them was that Prince Ephraim would prevail, but... Rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Grotto's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with care. Hmm. Ah, damn. Ephraim. Three years ago. Oh, so you're Ephraim. Okay, uh... Hmm, something probably cocky. It's time to start. Are you ready? Actually, you know what? Maybe, no, that probably wouldn't work. I kind of wanted... I thought I was thinking about giving him, like, the uh, Leo voice, but... It's time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though. Why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet... And yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of sword play, if only a little. And yet, maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. So please, Ephraim. All right, all right. How could I say no? Honestly, once you get an idea into your head, that's it. I might as well give in. It's agreed. I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we've started, Erica. Complain? Me? Never! Aww, that was cute. Hi? Blue hair- a dark blue-haired dude? Oops, beg your pardon. Hey! Princess, are you all right? Yes. Someone bumped into me is all. I was jawed. Mm -hmm. Your Highness, where is your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone. That son of a bitch! Princess, language! Oh, sorry. What could it be? Did that man... I'll find him! Don't worry about it, Seth. That bracelet was a gift from my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess. We must retrieve your bracelet regardless of cost. 
You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. Oh. The bandits of Borgo. Oh, cool. I can go to the armory anytime I want now. Cool. Yeah. Look at that boy. Boy. We got... We got Kratos and boy. <laughs> oh my god, this opens us up so, to so many damn jokes. Okay. Well, guys, that is where I'm going to end it for this week. Hope you guys like the double dose of multiple chapters this time. Even though, again, I am failing. But hey, at least that just proves it's not going to be a perfect run. Regardless of how hard I try. Oh shit, I can... Wait, these weren't here before. Oh, hot damn, I can buy a javelin. Oh, sweet, I can actually hook everybody up. Wait. Oh, yes. That'll give him some advantage over flying units. I was thinking about giving him a javelin, but nah. For right now, let's go ahead and actually, maybe I could give him a javelin. Oh, no. I can give, I can give so many people javelins. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you another javelin. Yes! Everybody getting stronger. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and give you an Iron Lance. Just in case you need to do some extra damage. And Seth, by God, my good man, you are definitely getting a Javelin. That will greatly help us out quite a lot. Alright, that's a pretty good place for me to go ahead and end it, guys. So, thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. Okay! I'm actually doing a little bit better. Oh, we're, we're getting a bunch of new characters. I want to level you up. I kind of like you already. And we also need Kratos. Definitely good old Kratos. Oh, he was once a feared military leader. Yes. Hmm. You kind of put me in the mind of Donnell. Like, maybe if I get you to a certain level, you'll get into your own class. Or maybe I have to wait till I get an upgrade material. I don't know. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting from this guy. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. Hello there, everybody. Sabatonai2 here. And if you like this video, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And hey, if you guys like my content, then maybe you'd like to check out another channel who I think deserves equal attention. So click that nightmare emblem and check out that channel or go to the links in the description down below. Once again, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.